Home of the brave, land of the free. These are famous words from a song that we all have grown up with that encapsulate basic values of what it means to live in the United States of America. However, as we grow older, we see grounded facts that contradict the principles, especially of freedom. And the principle I want to talk about today, that freedom principle, is contradicted by the fact that the United States has among the highest percentages of its population in prison. In fact, we're the highest in the industrialized world, and only the second highest in the entire world, the highest being a tiny country in Africa. Hello, my name is Warren Burris. I teach in the Department of Fine Arts and Communication Studies at USC Upstate, and today I want to drive that point home about our uh, the contradiction between freedom and a high prison rate by looking at two graphs that I, I have uh, put on the board here. One is an original graph that I pulled off of the internet that has some problems, and then I'll show you an improved graph that I made myself that I hope you will find more appealing. So what's the matter with this graph that I pulled offline? Well, one is the colors are not very appealing. Why do they have this black background and a blue foreground? Why are they going uh, with yellow and green and red in the border here? It's a very, very busy, distracting color scheme, I think. And it's drawing away from what they want you to get, which is that the United States is the highest in terms of all these countries in the incarceration rate. Second, and probably the most glaring issue here, is that I don't know why these countries are compared to the United States. Why is Russia, uh, Iran, the UK, China, Canada, Italy, Germany, France, Japan, why are those countries compared to the United States? Why are they in the data set? I don't know. I don't know why they're comparing the U.S. with those countries. It seems like they're just picked randomly or perhaps for some reason that I don't know about. Second, the years don't line up, or third, I should say, the years don't line up. Here it says 2003 and 2004, but down here it says that the source is from 2001. That's a problem. The data is too old. At best, it's from 2003 to 2004, and that says nothing about what's happening right now. Finally, the statistics are redundant. I get it that it's... These numbers refer to prisoners per 100,000 in the population, and it goes from 58 in Japan to 714 in the U.S. Understand that? But why? And then each bar is given a number. Okay. But then why are those numbers also over here ranging from 0 to 800? It seems to me that you'd have one or the other. You don't need both. Either the numbers are here or they're here, but not both. It's distracting again. Now... I have tried to uh, improve upon this. I hope you will agree that some improvement has been made. First of all, I have a clear title, Prisoners Per Capita Among Top HDI Nations, 2017. HDI, in case you don't understand what that means or have never heard that before, it refers to how well a country is doing in, uh, economically, um, it, uh, how, how well the people are in terms of health and education. So it measures how long people live, average education level, and the average income. Each one of these countries is in the top 15 HDI countries. These are the top 15, with the United States being one of those. I've used current data, 2017. The data set is now clear as to why these countries are compared to the United States. They're all in the top HDI countries. They are all the top 15. So we all share high levels of income, health, and um, education. You notice that some of the other countries that were on the other chart aren't even here, such as Russia, because you can't compare. It's not fair to compare countries that are so different. I've clarified the data here. Uh, these prisoners per 100,000 are just on the bars not going here as well, so I'm drawing your attention to the bars, not over to the axis over here. And um, also I've used some Gestalt principles that I, I hope you will uh, 
recognized from class. One is the figure ground principle. The black background is gone. It's all foreground now. The principle of similarity. I've used all blue throughout on the bars. However, I've also used difference to have a slightly darker blue here to draw a distinction between the United States and the rest. That's because the, the level is so high over here compared to the rest. And the principle of continuity I've used um, organizing the bars from lowest to highest with, with your eye going left to right. I've deliberately done that because we tend to read left to right. So I start here and you think, oh, low, 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 and then high. So that's why I flipped it because it was high and then low, 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 low. Seems like you get to the end of the story before you, you really should start at the beginning with low, 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 and then high. I hope that you find this graph more appealing than the other one. And I've gone over uh, the old graph and the new graph and uh, the idea here, once again, to draw home that, drive home that principle, the United States has the highest per capita income among industrialized nations. Thank you very much.